Till now, in this lecture series, we have understood that y is equal to x beta plus e, where e is the error term, not the residual term. Beta is your vector of parameters and x is your matrix of independent variables and y is your observation of your dependent variable. Now over here we have also estimated the value of beta or rather beta hat. Beta hat is equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y. Now we have already understood these things in our previous lecture. So let's try to understand what is lying inside beta hat by putting the value of y into it. So this makes it x transpose x inverse x transpose and x beta plus e by putting this guy over here. Now you just open up the bracket and separate out the terms which equals x transpose x inverse x transpose x beta plus x transpose x inverse x transpose e. Now this is your full expression of beta hat. Now we can further simplify this because you might have recognized that these two guys are inverse of each other. So in effect you can write this as beta plus x transpose x inverse x transpose e. Now this is equal to your estimate of beta or beta hat. So this is the next bit of algebra which we could have done after estimating the value of beta or beta hat. So the estimate of beta is beta hat. Now as we have found out a value for beta hat, let us try to understand what distribution this belongs to. So to understand that we have to find out its expectation and variance first. So let us try to find the expectation of beta hat first. So let's start by using the expectation operator on this. So expectation of your beta hat. Now the first term over here as expectation follows a linear combination principle. So this guy will just become beta because this is something uh, fixed, right? We don't know it, but this is known as per our y is equal to x beta plus e. We don't know the value of this term. So we will just write beta because it is not a random variable. This is a fixed thing. We don't know it, right? Now next comes this over here also, this guy over here is all the terms which is related to x and as you recall from the assumptions video, I will link that video over here, that x is non-stochastic in nature which means I don't need to calculate the expectation of this. This is just a uh, kind of a non-changing value. I will just find the expectation of e. So I can write this thing as x transpose x inverse x transpose expectation of e. Now again I will refer to the same video that we know that expectation of the error term is equal to 0. So this guy over here goes to 0 which means 0 into 0 the whole term goes to 0 which tells you that expectation of beta hat is equal to beta or you can say that beta hat 
is an unbiased estimator of beta. So this unbiased property is quite prevalent in statistics. If you come across any estimator which is unbiased in nature, it is of a big value to us. So this beta hat estimator is unbiased for beta. So this is the first stage. We found out the expectation of our beta vector. Now, beta hat vector rather. So let's now move on to the variance of beta hat. To find out the variance of beta hat as beta hat is a vector quantity, what we need to do is variance of beta hat is equal to expectation of beta hat minus expectation of beta hat into beta hat minus expectation of beta hat transpose. Transpose because these two guys will be vectors. So if you take the scalar product, you will get the expectation quantity, which is kind of denoting to the variance quantity. So I'll erase the non-relevant portion for us and I will put the values here and then I'll simplify this further. Before erasing these guys, I'll just tell you one thing that we already know that expectation of beta hat is beta. And we know that beta hat is this quantity. So if I take this minus this, beta will be getting cancelled. I'll only be left with this quantity. So over here inside this bracket and inside this bracket before doing the transpose, I just need this guy because beta hat is containing this and beta and expectation of beta hat is beta. So beta will be getting cancelled out. So let's just take this and plug it inside these brackets. Expectation of we will have x transpose x inverse x prime and then we will have an e term and then inside the bracket we will have x transpose x inverse, x transpose e and transpose. Now, when we want to expand this thing by putting the transpose inside, the order will be reversed. So we will get expectation of x transpose x inverse, x transpose e, now E transpose, now X transpose, X transpose transpose is X into your X transpose X inverse. So over here, you can see that all these guys are non-stochastic in nature, except E, e transpose. So I will just insert the expectation operator wherever I get E. So let me just erase the whole part of it. You can take a note and then I will use the simplification from this stage. So just take a note of this and I'll move ahead. Variance of beta hat is equal to, I'll just put this thing, right? So all the non-stochastic guys come out of my expectation operator and I simply get this guy over here and if you recall a bit the expectation guy this thing we already know the value for this this guy is equal to sigma square i so sigma square i constant number multiplied by the identity matrix. So you can further write this thing as sigma square into x transpose x inverse x transpose x into x transpose x inverse. 
Now these two guys will be getting cancelled out. You will get sigma square x transpose x inverse. So this is your variance for beta hat. So we already know the expectation for beta hat and this is the variance. So now we can fully specify the beta hat estimator. Beta hat has an expectation of beta and a variance of sigma square x inverse. So if you look at the estimate of beta hat, even this term has an inverse usage, right? X transpose X inverse. And even the variance term has an X transpose X inverse, which means my determinant of X transpose X must be not equal to zero or else I'll not be able to calculate the inverse. Going forward, we will do few more derivations and we will dig deeper into regression, which essentially is econometrics in its full sense. So we will go deeper and we will try to uncover the econometrics length and breadth 